started uh, when I was six. When I was six years, I started oh. playing on the streets. I was born in Jamestown. Uh, I, I, I was born ghetto, you know. Mm -hmm. Bukom, Jamestown, you know. So we we normally play on the streets without without shoes and and stuff. <laughs> I always liked to play football because my dad was a former uh, footballer as well. He played for Olympics, he played for Arts of Folk, and he, he plays for the national team as well. So uh, I was born in it. Uh, I started, I was in, uh, I was from Colts, I was selected to national under 15. Uh, that's when uh, uh, I graduated to Olympics got interested in me and then uh, signed me on. I was very young. I played at Great Olympics for a year and then I moved from Olympics to uh, uh, Arts of Folk. Um, uh, I remember uh, uh, a game between Arts of Folk against uh, Abiasau. It was a CAF Champions League game and uh, after the game, I met uh, one white man, he's a uh, Jewish American, he's a businessman. So after the game, he came to me and he said to me that uh, uh, he's interested in me, he wanted to take me to Europe and he thinks that I have what it takes to play in Europe. So so I met him in his hotel and then he said to me that uh, after one week, he's taking me to Europe. But what you have to do is, is you have to take me to uh, Israel first to have experience in mm -hmm. playing outside the country before he can take me to, to, to bigger clubs in Europe. Ah, it, was, uh, it was very great. I remember when I was moving from uh, Ghana, I was, back then I was a key player for Arts of Folk, so they, they don't want to release me to, to leave the team, but I, I, I talked to them and, 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 and the white man to try to convince them with it, money and all those things to let me go. Yeah, in Russia uh, it was very great, you know. Um, the reason why it was great for me and the fans uh, was when I got there, you know, the president was saying that I was too little because Russians, you know, Russians are very big, they have more these yeah. muscles and all those things. Said I was too little to play in the league. Mm -hmm. So they were not sure that they can Sign me on till the agent convinced them to uh, give it a try. Mm -hmm. So I had a training game, one training game, and then they were convinced. So after first half in the friendly game, the president called me and then gave me a contract. So the fans were, because I said that they knew that I'm in town, but, but uh, I didn't sign, in, I did not sign immediately. I got there. So okay. when, when I had a good game in the, that friendly game and I got the signing, my first game was. Very, all the fans wanted to watch me playing in the in the in, in, in the league. So my debut was a very good debut. I had a very great game and I was one of the match. Before going to sign for us in Scotland, uh, uh, I was supposed to sign for Bolton Wanderers because uh, after after the league in uh, uh, Russia, I went to uh, England for medicals. And I finished. I finished the medicals. Finished the medicals in December. During that period, the transfer window is shut, so I have to. During the, that time, the transfer window is shut. So after my medicals, I couldn't sign for voting because they said uh, the transfer window have to uh, reopen before I can sign a contract with the team. So okay. uh, they asked me to come down for Christmas holidays, and then and then I came down and I went back to sign. So when I go back, the player is supposed to replace uh, Ivan Campo. Uh, uh, still have one year contract with them. And when I go back, he changed his mind. He said, oh, he wanted to finish his contract. So uh, okay. that one. Uh, during that time too, I have uh, my second option is arts in, in, in Scotland. They were chasing me for a long time. So I decided to to go to Scotland and, and, and sign with them. I always say that uh, I've traveled a lot throughout my career. I've traveled a lot, but Scotland, Scotland has been my home. You know, I really mm -hmm. enjoyed my football there. My family is happy there. 
so I felt at home over there, you know. Uh, and the fans were very great. Uh, up to now, they still love me. They always wanted me to come back to Scotland. My teammates too, they are very, they, 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 are very, they, they really like me. They really like me a lot because uh, I, was, I was a key player in the team. Mm -hmm. And uh, I could say I'm the engine of the team, you know. Oh, like, wow. Yeah, so uh, they really love me so much. Uh, if you're talking about uh, Scottish League, comparing Scottish League to uh, Ghana League, the difference is, is very big, very, very big. Uh, uh, the facilities and the management and everything is, is there is a very big difference. And uh, Scottish League is, is, is very aggressive and more running compared to other places that I've played in, in Russia. It's more technique and uh, uh, tactical play, but in Scotland okay. it's more aggressive and power running and all those stuff. Uh, I always say my most memorable moment of my career is uh, when we had under 20 African Cup of Nations in Ghana mm -hmm. in 99 and Ghana won the cup and I scored the only goal in the final against Nigeria. Mm -hmm. yeah, about racism, it's, it's, very, it's very difficult in, 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 in football for especially most, from, most of the players from Africa going to play in Europe, it's very difficult. And it's, 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 it's very important for, 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 for football handlers to, to take a very, a very uh, good look at it and then try to let it go. Now it's, it's much better compared like 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's much better, but you can still see one or two racism in the in football aspect. So I think it's, it's very important and it's not good for African players, they don't enjoy it. I remember when I was playing in Russia, I, mm -hmm. I really had a lot of racism abuse. But, but I tried to be strong and I felt like this is my job and I have a contract, I have to be professional and then mm -hmm. stay there. It's, it's really difficult. My, sometimes, you know, uh, if I send my junior brother to go to grocery shopping and all those things, he, he will always cry back home. Um, the advice I'll give to the youth in Africa against racism behavior is uh, just simple, you know. They just have to be strong and uh, uh, anytime they encounter those words, they should just be strong and ignore ignore the people that uh, say that to them. Or if, if it's possible, they should rather be calm and then uh, let them feel that you don't do that to humans. So I think it's uh, uh, this is the advice I wanted to give to them and they, they should be strong and yes, yes, ignore them, that's it. Oh yeah, sure, it's, it has really, really, really helped, you know, because uh, uh, I'm the breadwinner of the family and through football, my family, my mom has got somewhere to lay his head and my brothers and sisters have got a good job and they've been to schools and all those things so I think uh, I don't regret uh, choosing football as my career. Um, I don't think Africa is far from getting there you know, because if you look back at the 2010 World Cup, African, the African teams did very well, especially Ghana did very well. You can see the, the kind of and the important thing is now most of the African players are playing in the bigger leagues in Europe. So uh, it's like they they know everything about European style. So when they are playing against them in the World Cup, it makes it more easier. So I don't think we are far from 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 getting there. You know, I think uh, after two three years, I think we can African teams can do something in the world level. Yes, I think I've achieved my ambition and my aim, mm -hmm. uh, seriously, because uh, uh, my ambition is to be a professional football player since I was a child, and uh, I think uh, I've enjoyed every moment of my career till now. Mm -hmm.